I can't wait to find out everything about her and what makes her who she is because she's a very, very, very inspiring person to me. And I know that I'm going to leave here like leaping after we do the interview. We want to extend a huge thank you to our partner, Dame, for supporting us in bringing our Mother's Day special with Cree Summer to life. We're at Cree Summer's house. We're doing a Mother's Day special celebrating her amazing being as a single mom. Hey, welcome. So amazing to meet you. Get in the pirate ship. Wow. Come on in. Of course, I just put on my mama's wedding moccasins. I call her Hellcat, but they call her Red Eagle, Miko Kiheo and Cree. Seeing your mother's shoes and, yes. and that you're wearing them, it's what drives me to do what I'm doing right now. Like when we started with the closets, that was the whole thing. It's something that is not disposable. Something that is magic and crafted. Magic. Because, yeah. the, well, you and I agree that what you look like is what you feel like. And I don't want to feel like I came out of a catalog. I mean, that's everything. <laughs> So can you talk about what your style says about you? Within my clothes, I'm free. Freedom is not giving a fuck what anybody else thinks. For me, it's so much more about what it represents. I do have a thing for ancient things, old things, worn things. Right. They just feel better to me, on me. My mother, she gave me this hat when I was 17. Boy, that lady wore great clothes. Like what? I mean, she used to wear great hats. She always had long flowing dresses, always in moccasins. She is definitely my fashion influence. I actually had a crisis of style after I had my kids. What happened? Nothing is the same. We, no, you don't even look at things the same. Everything goes. <clears throat> right. When you have a kid, it's not like, oh, bye. OK, great. I just had a kid. Bye. It's you having to consistently grow and evolve and not run from yourself. Yes. You know? There's no work. sleight of hand mm -hmm. in mothering. You can try to hide it. Mm -hmm. You can stash it away. They get it all anyway. Might as well let it all hang out. Sharp mirror to yeah, every single thing. baby. Sharp mirror. No mirror could be clearer yeah. than that little thing. They're watching your every move. Yeah. I'm going to take you to my closet. Yeah. Get ready. I want to take show off Hellcat oh because she did so much beading on her loom. So this is one of the uh, belts that my mother embroidered for her and my father. This is her beautiful beadwork. There's their, their teepee. And then this jacket she made in particular to go with this hat. So I know you see the brown velvet here and then the beautiful brown velvet collar. That was a real trademark of my mother's collars and cuffs. She'd take a pair of Levi's jeans and do a beautiful beaded or embroidered cuff. Fantastic. I'm obsessed with this peyote bird because you see she incorporates a teepee in the tail. Just whimsy, right? Also just such, I mean, the definition of authenticity and power yeah. in something. Yeah. I, I like hats just a little bit. <laughs> I'm crazy about hats. These are my newest hats. These two were made for me. And uh, here's a real throwback. This is my old jacket from the res. <laughs> I used to dance in this. I'm gonna put on my father's best. You can see my mother gave him the most beautiful buttons. And then the piece de resistance is the back that she embroidered for him. Art exists. It doesn't matter on what scale. It doesn't matter who's watching. Mm -hmm. As we think if no one sees it, who could possibly know how creative we are? But I get satisfied smoking a joint in the backyard and writing a little poem or starting a song, and nobody sees that shit. Right. And boy, what a reward that is. In just those little joys of being a creative person, it's got nothing to do mm -hmm. with anybody else watching. Mm -hmm. Right, it's yeah. so true. Just like clothes. My girls say, why do you have to wear all your jewelry to take me to school? Oh, I, I, have, I to. have to. I have to, it just it feels I'm weird. Whose hands are these? I'm the same. Yeah. Did you always know you wanted to be a mom? Always wanted to be a mom. But I think I was talking about being somebody's mother before I even knew what the fuck it meant. And then interestingly enough, I got pregnant very young and I didn't want to be a mother. I was in a rock and roll band. I said, I'm not having a fucking baby. I'm going on the road. So 
I wanted to be a mom, but not yet. And when did you know? I had turned 40, and then their father appeared. He literally appeared. He bought the house across the street. He moved in here, and we had a really nice, almost a decade together, really good. And then when that relationship ended, I became a single mother. Boy, greatest fear of my life. I was a daddy's girl. I loved my daddy. He was mm. the shining star of my life. We didn't call him Iron Buffalo for nothing. He was my iron daddy, and that meant something to me. And then I didn't want to do it by myself, goddammit. Mm. I just didn't want to do it by myself. Yeah, it's it hard. Just, it sounded, seemed scary. I just fell apart in front of my girls, too. And they got to see me, because I have to tell you, that destruction was mm. the best destruction mm. of my mm. life in retrospect. I am a totally different person after that. Probably a couple of years ago, I would have said I was abandoned, but now I say I was really liberated. Mm. And my daughters got to see me hanging on by a mosquito contair, right? And then they got to see me just sore. Mm. And I think now my greatest, the greatest, biggest job as a mother is to be yourself. You had mentioned that your kids have been a mirror to you. In, yeah. in what way? I can get pretty ragey sometimes. I, I call her that mad face mama. My mother is called Hellcat for a reason. And I notice sometimes when I get angry, I get so loud if I see my daughter's power. It's a reflection I don't like. And then sometimes I see them do that to each other. Mm. And I think, shit, we successfully inherited that shit. You know? So how have you dealt with that? Uh, I tell them. Sometimes at bedtime I'll say, you know, I just want to apologize that mama was a real asshole today. And they'll say, oh, you sure were, mama. And I, I think they delight when I call myself an asshole. I often find when you go through a separation and you're on your own as a single mother, Boy, you sure find what sisterhood is about right. for real, right? Because mm -hmm. your sisters come in, especially the ones that have been through it already. They come in and they tell you that there's another side. And I do think it's funny because we we're going to talk about menopause, but I do think it goes hand in hand mm -hmm. because I got the sweats. I'm angry. I'm sad. I'm happy. I'm crazy. And then it starts to go, oh, this is what I've been waiting for. If there's any part of my life I don't want anyone to see and look at, it's my youth. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you just don't know what the fuck you're doing. You don't know what the fuck you're saying. You don't know what you're committed to. It's just all over the place. And that's supposedly yeah. well, the best time of your life. Why do we think when you know yourself the best that that's the time that you're irrelevant or you're uh, like, what is the, the it Go. makes no sense. It makes no sense. Why don't we talk about it? It's just, I believe, yeah. more of that woman hating propaganda because men are allowed to age. You become distinguished. It, you know? It's only if you buy into it and you believe it because it's the, I have found it to be the completely opposite. It's the best, baby. I mean, I literally feel like no different than I felt when I was six, 15 or 16 years old. Yes. Like I feel the same. Yes. Only I feel wiser and I've lived more. I don't feel any different. No, no. Hardly any different. I mean, every you know? now and then I look in the mirror and I go, oh shit. I don't feel like I look like that. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I do that. It can catch you by surprise. Yeah. And you go, holy, sh oh yeah, the old gray mare is what she used to yeah. be, right? Not but you don't feel it. Inside. No, I don't feel it. It's a whole new type of beauty that I wish we saw more of. When do you feel the most vulnerable as a single mom? I feel vulnerable when they're very, very loving to me. If I'm going through something and one of them will come and hold me, little arms comforting me is, uh, it's a lot, it's, uh, it's just a tenderizer. When they get tender with me, it just does me in. Uh, when they tell me I'm beautiful or not to worry, mama, you got this, things like that. Right. Oh God, it's just. That is amazing. It's a lot, it's beautiful. Harry, come sit right here. Okay, so when do you feel the most beautiful as a mom? When I dance with my girls. When we play, put on music and dance together, I feel very beautiful. And when I go out, when I get all, when I put it on, mm -hmm. right? When I get it together to go out and my girls say, ooh, mama, you look so good. When they tell me I look good, I feel beautiful then. Oh, you're always beautiful. 
Thank you, baby. What's the greatest gift that being a single mom has given you? Well, we became Mama and the Savages. We became a band. And I think of us like a rock band. We tour together, we eat together. That's what I love about it. I love that it's the girls and I. The thing that I feared the most is the thing I love the most. I feared doing it on my own and I love doing it on my own. Who would have known? I like when we strut into a room and it's Mama and the Savages. That's my favorite. We want to extend a huge thank you to our partner, Dame, for supporting us in bringing our Mother's Day special with Cree Summer to life. Lily, did you know that women are four times more likely in the last year to say that they do not enjoy sex? Than men? Yes. <laughs> I didn't, but I didn't know the statistic, but I'm not surprised at all. That's where our incredible partner, Dame, comes in. Dame is a leading sexual wellness company creating absolutely beautiful pleasure products for people with vulvas to help bring your solo or coupled play to the next level. If you're interested in getting Dame today, use code STYLE like you to get 15% off your first order. Are you going to go get one, Mom? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Is it going to be your first vibrator? Yes. Oh my god. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is um, Mama's cuss jar. <laughs> there used to be a bunch of uh, dollar bills in here. I had a little one, but then the girl said it wasn't big enough, so, because I am a junkyard dog.